Hello and welcome to Tech24, I'm Julia Seeger. In this edition, we tell you all the different ways in which the cosmetics industry is embracing technology as it attempts to attract a new wave of digital natives. From advanced facial mapping to augmented reality, we highlight the market's greatest disruptors. Plus, we test a myriad of connected objects that will help you analyze and take care of your skin in a digital way. Technology and beauty may seem like unlikely bedfellows, but L'Oréal, the largest cosmetics company in the world, believes they are a perfect match. Over the past few years, it has undergone a major digital transformation, and part of it was to invest 100 million euros in a global hair care research center near Paris. Scientists there have access to the most advanced technologies to help them design and create the products you and I will likely use tomorrow. We begin this special edition by taking you backstage of L'Oréal's high-tech hair care center in saint ouen it's a lab like nothing you've ever seen before. Here, 500 scientists are scratching their heads so that you can make your hair look as good as possible. Their aim, understand how different types of hair, straight, curly or frizzy, move, and how they react to products so that they are easier to comb, care for and shape. To help them in their quest to make the ideal hairdo effortless, Researchers are helped by robots. This one is called Move Hair. It analyzes the hair's bounciness after a spray, gel or shampoo has been applied. This robot works with five cameras. They're positioned around a lock of hair which is placed on a little motor that will move it from side to side. With the five recordings, we will be able to recreate the movement of the lock of hair. This system has enabled scientists to go even further and create a 3D model of an entire head of hair, an innovation that has piqued the interest of American video game designers and film producers. Once the scientists have their results, they can create new products better suited to different types of hair. Robots are also valuable time-saving machines. The F100 can concoct any product using powders, liquids or creams. The new formulas are then tested on small samples of hair. The lifespan of a colouring product is tested by yet another robot, the Comet. We apply this product to the hair and then we will wash it with different types of shampoo to make sure the colour won't fade. The robot is also programmed to measure the brightness of the colour. After a few showers, we will take our measurements to make sure the colour isn't fading. Worth 100 million euros, this research centre is a strategic investment for L'Oréal. Hair products make up 36% of its annual turnover. And it's time to welcome Dan and Jay Cattlecar, our in-house expert. Hello and welcome, Dan. Hello, Julia. One of the challenges that the beauty sector and the makeup industry in, in, in particular is facing right now is that customers want to try the makeup even if they're buying online. So how has the tech sector uh, overcome this problem? Well, because of advancements in facial recognition technology. Now that we are talking of L'Oreal, they have introduced this amazing application called uh, Makeup Genius, in which uh, using that application, you can try out 4,500 products uh, of that company virtually. So using the facial recognition technology, uh, it basically tracks your face using 64 uh, data points, facial data points, and it uses uh, it uh, tracks 100 different facial expressions. So it's very precise. So you just try out different uh, combinations of powder, lipstick, eyelashes, and then whatever look you like, you can actually order it because there are different looks you can choose from. And you can, if you like a certain look, you just click and order and the entire set will be delivered to you. Right. And there's another similar app. It's called You Can Makeup. That's right. I think you tried it out recently. And I it, did at the Viva Technology Show here right, in Paris. And, yeah. And it works on the similar principle. It also has it uses facial recognition technology so that you can uh, you can do, do all this virtually without right. having to actually go to a shop. It's very and impressive. Coloring your Indeed. face and it can be done so easily. Ordering is easy. So everything has become very convenient now. And now I'm sure that a lot of women out there have already had their makeup done and you're always kind of frustrated because you don't know what the makeup artist did and you go home and you just don't know how to do it again yourself. So that's why uh, Yves Saint Laurent here in, uh, in France has teamed up with Google, Google Glass. 
That's right. Uh, using the Google Glass, basically the makeup artist films what he is doing. It's uh, supposed to be a half an hour to 45 minute film. This video is then sent uh, to the user on whom the makeup is done. Now watching that film, the user can not only recreate uh, the makeup, but the, it can, they can also use techniques uh, not only for one particular makeup, but in the future. So they can get a perspective on how professionals work and generally improve their um, makeup skills. Now, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Fifth Element, but at one point the main character, Lilu, uh, puts on a, a mask which looks like a virtual reality mask, and in just a second, her whole makeup is done. Now this technology actually exists. It's from Ferrero. That's right. I mean, I think among all the gadgets, this has to be one of the most impressive gadgets. All you have to do is select a picture through the app, upload it, and you go and you, you there's a, a desktop uh, like device with a big hole in the, middle. in the middle. So all you do is you just you put your face there. Now, this device called Moda, it also uses facial uh, recognition technology, but it all, at the same time, it acts as a 3D printer. So it uh, prints uh, different uh, different uh, makeup products like powders, eyelashes, right. and the makeup is done instantly. It, it's within in 30 seconds. So you just put your face and the makeup you choose, it's, it's on your face. Right. That's, Eyes, it's, it's lips, incredible. foundation, everything. Um, and now there's another 3D, 3D printer that you can use at home to print your own makeup. It's called 3D Mink. Yeah, speak of convenience, I mean, imagine if you have an app like Makeup Genius and if you have a 3D printer, you don't have to do anything. You just take a look at the app, you choose, okay, this is what I want. And this 3D printer, you just send a picture or choose a color, not only, not necessarily from the web. You can choose it in real, uh, you know, in the real world as well. You choose a color. Uh, it has a specially built software. And m the moment you get the color code, you insert that color code and voila, you have uh, whatever product pretty much the biggest disruptor of the sector, yeah. probably. Thank you so much, Dan. We're going to move on now to Test24. And Dan here is going to tell us how to take care of our skin by using a fully personalized, connected, multifunction, and easy-to-use <laughs> mask. I'm sorry, Dan, but you look like the Phantom of the Opera or maybe a scene from Eyes Wide Shut. Or the man or... in the plastic mask. Exactly. Uh, it's a new film. Anyway, so this mask is uh, <laughs> What's it called? by a French startup, Wired Beauty. The idea behind this mask is that it has uh, sensors which track uh, temperature and moisture in your skin. So you put on the mask. And these two, sens uh, these two sensors, which are distributed all over the mask, as you can see here. This is a prototype for now. This is a prototype, right? Uh, they will determine how much uh, hydration your skin has or, and what the temperature is. Now, temperature and hydration go hand in hand. It's very important because in order to, have, in order to maintain your skin properly, you need proper hydration. Now, here, there's just a demonstration on how this works. So the app, once you put on the mask, it will start uh, getting those parameters, and it will tell you uh, what exactly the you know all these parameters are now here you can see on one hand there is temperature on one hand there's moisture now in order to determine whether you are at the right level or not the application has a scale of uh, 0 to 100 so if you are inclining to a more towards 100 then your skin is in good condition if not you have to make certain maybe lifestyle changes or some Drink dietary changes or... exactly to make your skin uh, you know look better and feel better as well uh, secondly this app also has a unique uh, unique feature uh, it's called the boost so what it does is if you apply cream on your skin and you go into the boost mode uh, the temperature of this mask, it raises to 42 degrees uh, Celsius. Wow. Norm, our normal body temperature is 37. So it Why 42 degrees? In order to open the pores. So uh, the heat uh, opens the pores and it results in better percolation of the cream, which is good for skin care. So these are the two main uh, functions and, uh, of uh, this mask. And what about the other device you have here? It's not as big. It is also, a, it has also a similar function. It also uh, measures moisture in your skin. It also measures uh, temperature. It measures the pigmentation. It measures it's oil Oku, activity. Right? It's called Oku. Uh, so idea behind this uh, device is that, uh, or the principle behind this is that once you put it on your skin, there's another uh, application connected to this. It also works in the same way that it has a 0 to 100. It. Yeah, it's a 0 to 100 scale. So if you are towards 100, then your skin is in good condition. It works differently though. In, uh, this has a uh, this measures the reflection of light, whatever light that uh, uh, goes through your skin, it measures that reflection, and it has its own uh, source of light. And using uh, using uh, nanoscience, uh, dermoscopy, uh, it, it's able to you know determine all these parameters. And it also suggests uh, maybe if if you are not taking good care of the, of the skin, it will suggest what uh, lifestyle changes you have to 
uh, you know, bring through in order right. to... Mine is beeping red. I don't know what that means, but... It, no, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> okay. And as some of our viewers are probably going to head to uh, the beach this summer, what do you have for us to monitor our UV exposure? Well, there's this UV patch made by L'Oreal. So you just put this patch on uh, through an app, which is connected to, uh, through the Bluetooth. You get to know what kind of uh, ultraviolet radiation your body is exposed to. Uh, so, for example... This is, and essentially it, it, it traces uh, through, you know, through chemical reaction. Uh, what happens is if there's extra, uh, more UV, then the, the, there's a color change. And through the app, you take pictures of this, uh, of this uh, patch. It's essentially like barcode, you know, you take pictures of barcode. The color change is not so distinguishable, but through the app, it, 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 the app basically senses it. And once you take the picture, the app will suggest whether the UV is uh, too high or if it's, it's okay. And then, depending on that, you apply cream, you know, depending on the level right. of ultraviolet exposure. And now, the company that, Wired Beauty, that created the mask, the first mask we saw in the test, it also created a, a sort of UV patch. Uh, this, call, this time it's called Heliosense. Right. Uh, instead of putting this patch on the skin, the, 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 the Wired Beauty's patch, you can, you know, attach it to the collar. And here, instead of so taking... it's a wearable. It's, it's not, a wearable right. device. Like, and instead of taking pictures, which can be annoying, like you have to take pictures after every 30 minutes or one hour, you don't know what's going on, it has a little, uh, little uh, line of LEDs. So if there is more UV, the LEDs start blinking. So by just looking at you know, the LEDs, you can know whether the, if, you, if the UV level is safe or not. And that tells you if you need to go hide in the shade or not. Thank you so much, Dan. Well, that brings us up to date on how technology is changing all the sectors of beauty from hair to makeup to skin. Hope you enjoyed the show and see you next time.